When you think about things that you find in a desert, probably the last thing on your list is ice. Yet somehow by 400 BCE, frozen desserts were enjoyed by people living in the deserts of Persia. These include falude, which is made of frozen rice noodles, and bastani, a traditional ice cream. But how were ancient Persians able to make ice cream in the desert without electricity or freezers? Hey, I'm Dalbert. In this episode of Minecraft History, we will be looking at the Akchals, ancient Persian refrigerators. If you enjoy Minecraft and you enjoy history, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. Let's get started. Ayakchal is a reservoir that was used to make, store, and preserve ice in Persia, which is now modern-day Iran. The word Yakchal comes from the Persian word Yak, meaning ice, and Chal, meaning pit. It is estimated that Persians started building Yakchals during the Achaemenid Empire, also known as the First Persian Empire. It was founded by Cyrus the Great and became one of the earliest superpowers. At its peak, the empire reached 5.5 million square kilometers. That's about 8 times the size of Texas and about 2 times the size of India. This vast multicultural empire would have been difficult to manage if not for its centralized bureaucratic administration. They built roads, created postal systems, and even erected buildings that stood the test of time, including the Yakchal. For this video, I recreated the Yakchal in Maymod City from the province of Yazd. So, how exactly does the Yakchal work? In order to make ice, the pool or pools are connected to a canal, which is a canal system that provides fresh water. They are commonly around 100 meters by 10 meters and about 40 to 50 centimeters deep. During winter, nights can go down to negative 5 degrees Celsius, which freezes the water. At dawn, workers cut the ice into blocks and carry them into the storage area. The wall can be as high as 10 meters. It is often made of adobe, a building material made from earth and organic matter such as straw. During the day, the wall provides shade to the pool. The shade protects the pool from the heat of the sun by about 10 to 15 degrees Celsius. This allows the water to freeze faster at night. Because Persia is in the northern hemisphere, the wall is always built on the south side of the pool, which will always provide the necessary shade. At night, the wall becomes a shield that protects the workers from strong, cold winds. It also gives more time for the workers to harvest the ice because the pool is protected from the sun. The Yakchal is where the ice is stored. When they were in use, the outside was covered with thatch to provide further insulation and protection from the rain. The structure is very effective in keeping the ice from melting. The ice stays frozen for months, even lasting until the next winter. The ice is kept in a pit that is 6 meters below ground. Temperatures below ground are often cooler and more stable, which helps keep the ice from melting. A small opening is dug at the bottom to let melted ice flow. Thatch and wood are placed in between the layers of ice so they would not stick together. This also provides more insulation. According to a study, if the thatch that was placed is about 1 meter thick, only 13% of the ice will melt from winter until September. Above, the huge dome protects the ice from the sun. The vent on top could also allow hot air to rise and escape, which keeps the cold air below. You would think that the ice is reserved for noblemen and kings, but because Sikh Charles are so efficient, even the common folk can afford buying ice. Although 129 Yakchals still exist today, they are mostly relics of the past and are no longer being used because of modern refrigeration. However, we can still learn from these ancient structures and maybe apply their principles in order to create more energy and climate-friendly buildings. Thank you so much for watching the first episode of Minecraft History. Comment below if you have any suggestions for future videos. Thank you for watching!